And here we have an example of how to find the mass of a particular constituent in a sample. So let's say we have a 44 gram sample of aluminum, aluminum oxide, Al2O3 is the uh, molecular formula for aluminum oxide. And you're supposed to find how much of that is aluminum. What is the mass of the aluminum within that sample? So the way to approach that is to say this, that the mass of the aluminum divided by the total mass of the sample. We can represent that as x being the unknown, so let x represent the amount of mass the aluminum has, and the total mass would then, of course, be the 44 grams. So what we're going to do then is with this ratio, is we're not gonna solve that for x, so we're gonna write x is equal to, bringing the 44 across here, that would be 44 grams times the mass of the aluminum, mass of the aluminum, divided by the total mass. You say, well, I have 44 grams here and I have total mass here, but this quantity right here is actually a ratio. The mass of aluminum is gonna be less than the total mass, so this divided by that is gonna be a fraction, a ratio less than one, so that's gonna be a fraction of the total of 44 grams, which is represented to be x, which of course means the mass of the aluminum, so that will actually give us the mass of the aluminum. So now all we have to do is plug in the numbers. Now this is gonna be 44 grams, times. How do we express the mass of aluminum? Well, the mass of aluminum, we know that um, the molar mass, let's find the molar mass, so the molar mass of aluminum is equal to 26.98 grams per mole, and the mass of oxygen, that's the other element in there, is equal to 16.00 grams per mole. So these are the molar masses of aluminum and of the, um, the oxygen. So let's see here, we have two moles of aluminum for every three moles of oxygen or two atoms of aluminum for every three atoms of oxygen. So what we can do here is we can multiply the molar mass. So the mass of aluminum, we take the molar mass and multiply it times how many moles we have. So that would be two times the molar mass of aluminum, which is 26.98 grams per mole, divided by uh, the total mass, of course, that would be 2 times 26.98 for aluminum, plus 3 times 16.00 grams of oxygen. So now what we've done here is we've found the ratio in terms of molar masses. So we know that this is the molar mass of aluminum, and we have 2 moles ratio-wise in the sample. And here is the molar mass of aluminum plus the molar mass of of the oxygen, which would be the total mass in the sample, again, in terms of uh, the respective molar mass. So we have two moles of, of aluminum versus three moles of oxygen, which gives us the proper ratio of how much aluminum we have versus how much total mass we have. And then we take that ratio, multiply it times 44 grams, and we'll indeed we'll get the um, mass of aluminum in our sample. So now we need a calculator. So we have 26.98 times 2, that's in the numerator, and we divide it by the denominator, which is 2 times 26.98, plus 3 times 16, equals, and notice the ratio, this will give us 44 grams, the mass of the total sample, divided by the ratio, uh, or times the ratio of 7.529, 0 0.529. All right, so if I multiply it times 44, this will give me x equals 23.29 grams. So what that means is if they give us a 44 gram sample of aluminum oxide, we want to know how much aluminum is in our sample. We set up this ratio. We know that the ratio of the mass of aluminum to the total mass must be x over 44 grams. 44 grams, of course, is the total mass. x is the unknown amount that we have. So now we've solved this equation for x, so x is equal to 44 grams, the mass of the whole sample, times the ratio of how much aluminum we have versus how much total mass we have. Now how do we represent the mass of aluminum and the total mass? Well, we know that in each atom of, of aluminum oxide, we have two, at, two, or each molecule of aluminum oxide, we have two atoms of aluminum and three atoms of oxygen. So this is representative of the amount of mass we have in the in aluminum, in the sample, and this would be the representative of how much total mass we have. Now, obviously, if you 
add these numbers up, you're going to get a much bigger number than 44 grams in the total mass here, but all we care about is the ratio, and this is how we find the ratio of the mass of aluminum to the total mass in the sample. And so that ratio is 0 0.529, which means 52.9% of the total mass is aluminum, multiply the 52.9% times 44 grams, and you get 23.29 grams, which is the amount of aluminum in your sample. And that is how you do that.